right, now, standard dock floats are rectangular. Typically, you'll see black rectangular dock floats, perhaps four by four, um, four feet by four foot by maybe a foot and a half. Um, what you will find is that those dock floats are made by this, with the same polyethylene that the plastic barrels are made from. However, what you'll also find is that those floats are injected with a foam filling that is roughly two pounds per square foot. That foam filling may, does not make the dock float more floatable. It doesn't make it more buoyant. It actually makes it heavier. The reason for the uh, uh, foam, often the, the dock float manufacturer will tell you it's there for safety so that if there was a leak, then your barrel would stay sealed, but that's not at all the case. In fact, the reason that it's there is because these dock floats are flat and they have very little structure on their own. So the foam filling is required inside to make that dock float firm and, and solid. Um, but if it is to puncture, the water will get inside and the foam filling they're using, the two pounds per square foot foam filling, will actually absorb water over time. And if you don't catch a hole quickly, if you wait till the end of the season, that dock float will slowly become saturated and there's no way to dry it out. On the other hand, a standard bar polyethylene barrel has a shape to it that does not require that it has any foam filling. So here we, we wait, we'll, we will displace water twice as much, uh, um, well, how would I say that? Hmm. This float will weigh 22 pounds. If I was to fill this with foam, it would weigh 44 pounds. So um, what we have right here then is a much better system for floats. The reason that standard dock floats are not made this way is because it makes the structure more difficult that holds the barrel. But we've solved that with our aluminum frame and our, alum and, and our um, plywood or standard decking. Thank you.